Bear Talk thinks about design tech and product. In this video, I want to share some of my thoughts and experience and tips about a game changer for digital age readers. Readwise app or Readwise Reader app. This is the app that I've been using for only one week, but so far I think this is the best tool I've been find in 2022. Let's check it out. I think for modern age digital readers, we would like to consume different formats of um, information. So we try to read articles, tweets, ebooks, and sometimes we listen to audiobooks or podcasts or other things. And then we try to uh, write a note or highlight some parts of those content and try to remember that or try to use it, use them as the snippets for our own content. So this is more like uh, multiple steps. And before that, we have different options for each use case. So for me, I used to use Instapaper Pocket Matter app for collect information in one place and consume it. And also I use Readwise app to sync those highlights into my notion, which is my second brain to collect all the information or all the knowledge that I consumed. And also sometimes I use hypothesis app, uh, web uh, extension to collect those uh, highlights from some uh, web articles. So there are different things to do that. And also you might do something similar as me to subscribe some newsletters or subscribe some blogs. So which means that we need to go to feeder app, reader app, or other other tools to consume those uh, uh, those feeds and then try to collect information from there. So which means that as a digital age reader, you have multiple places to consume information. And now with Readwise Reader, seems that we have a combined place for all sorts of information. And finally, we can do the same thing in one place and then seamlessly it can move to the other step. So yeah, to be straightforward, Readwise Reader is a all-in-one place read, read app and things I'm paying or things I will pay for this app is uh, there, are, there are a few features. Before that, I think there are some baseline for those uh, similar tools. I think sh they should be available on most of the platforms. For example, on your iPhone, iPad, and web browser, they should be all uh, available so that you can switch the scenarios to read the uh, same thing on different platforms. And also save and read later. That's the primary feature, right? And also for me, I think it should be available for both article and videos. So that would be really good because reading, the definition of reading at a modern age is not only books, right? Um, and also for me, I would like to have the highlight and annotation um, feature available. And also they're able to sync those highlights and notes to different platforms and should be um, able to integrate it to Notion because that's my uh, second brain and uh, that's not negotiable. And I'm happy to find that Readwise Reader can solve all those problems in only one app. And that's the baseline. And the things I'm paying for or things I'm, I will pay for is one thing is the daily review of notes you took. So this is as a seamlessly uh, workflow from Readwise Reader to Readwise app. Uh, to make it clear, those are two different apps. Readwise Reader is a reading app for consuming information. And Readwise app is a reviewing highlights app for you to reviewing those highlights or notes you collected from, from the materials. And then you can memorize it or uh, review and reflect your memory. So that's that's two different apps. And for me, I think I really like the daily review step, uh, step to memorize or check what I've consumed. And 
maybe it's also similar for for your experience as well. Like if you read a book and if you oh this is a great book, and then after a few months you you find oh seems I read this book but I can't remember a thing from this book because you haven't right now so I haven't checked your notes. So I think、uh, that's the reason I I think daily review is really important. And second is think with Notion. So so far there's only one app. Readwise can do that integration with Notion.、Uh, I don't need to worry about any anything's missing. I can have Notion as my storage place to check all the information I collected. So that's、uh, that's the thing I'm paying for. And the third thing is、uh, by using Readwise app, I can share those notes with a really good looking format. So this is I'm、uh, I'm doing currently on Twitter to share it, to share some of my thoughts and the highlights that I collected with my、um, with people who's following me, and that's really helpful for me myself and also for those、uh, other people. And for Readwise Reader, I think there are a few enhanced enhanced experience. So first is the AI narration. And those apps that I'm using,、uh, Instapaper and Pocket and Matter, they all provide uh, audio uh, function that you can listen to the article, right? But for Readwise Reader, it provides an AI-generated、uh, audio narration, and it sounds really natural. So sometimes you don't even realize that this is reading. This is、uh, reading by. By a machine, not by a real human. I really like that. The only thing that I think is not、uh, as good as it should be is that it's only support English so far. I really want to see if that support other language like Chinese or other language in the future. And also, the other enhanced experience is all things in one place. I mean, they really did it because. Uh, you can consume your email newsletter, your newsletter, your、um, uh, your RSS feed, and your、um, the articles that you collecting. So those things in one place, and、uh, they separated the two places, the, the two categories in a really clear boundary. I will talk about that later in details. But yeah, this is one thing.、Uh, you can have all the. Information that's on on the same place, and the third is seamlessly sync with Readwise app. This is perfect, right? And other two game changers from Readwise Reader app that、uh, for me I think you should try it. The first is you can consume your EPUB books and PDF books in the same place, and this provides a lot of potential. For example, I use iBooks. To read EPUB books, and sometimes you know, as a modern age、uh, consumer, sometimes we really lack of no,、uh, like、uh, our attention span is really short, right? You only have a few minutes to focus, and then you start to browsing away or try to scroll your screens. So this is happening on me a lot, and I found that if I can read a book, and when I'm a little feel a little bit distracted, I don't want to. Consumed by reading, I can switch to listen with the same book, so that it can provide some immersed reading experience. I don't need to stop that reading,、uh, and I can switch it. So that's really really good. I'm starting to experience it, and also any highlights that you collect collected will be synced to your Readwise app as well. So that's perfect.、Uh, one game changer. The second one, you can finally. Highlight an image, and that's perfect. Because you know, when you consume an article, for example, if an article provides、um, a mind map or a diagram that you feel, oh, that's perfect. I really want to memorize it. I really, I can really use it. And all other apps, you cannot highlight an image, but on Readwise Reader app, you can do that. So that's perfect. And third, the last but not the least, game changer. Is you can collect some snippets from the web browser. Readwise Reader app provides a Chrome ex- extension so that you can highlight anything on the web page and sync it 
to your Readwise Reader app as the highlights. I haven't explored it a lot, but this seems that a good potential and also provides some interesting use case for for people to explore. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it, and let me know if you are interested in this topic. If you do, I can go a deep dive later for how we're going to use this app for improving our workflow. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.